with the new secret layer upon us, are they worth it? Or should we pass on them? Hello there everybody and welcome on in. I'm 16-Bit Fair and in this video we are going to be talking about the August Super Drop. For this Super Drop we have a total of 7 different secret layers. So we're going to look at them and ask the question, do they provide the value worth for our hard earned dollary dues? Are the cards are, that are in these, do they see a lot of play? Well, let's find out and what better place than to start with the big one. The big one is the Showcase Dominaria United Textured Foil Edition. This contains five cards, and not just any five cards. It contains the original five Elder Dragons in a very beautiful stained glass style. I, for one, love the art of this. I mean, oh my goodness, just, just look at these, look at these. We have Arcadius Sabbat, Chrominium, Nicol Ballas, I'm probably going to mispronounce this, Veavictus Asmodi, and I'm going to mispronounce this too, Paladia Morse. Now that we have the cards out of the way, what's the value? Are these worth it? Well, that all depends on if you want to play with these cards. If you're looking to pick up these cards just to play with them, you can pick up all five for less than $10 just buying the singles. But here's where the big butt comes into situation. These Elder Dragons never have had a foil printing, let alone a texture foil printing, which this is the new flashy thing Wizard of the Coast is doing going forward for collector boxes. So with this in mind, the price tag for the secret layer is $49.99. So what are my thoughts on the secret layer? Actually, I think it's quite unique and downright beautiful. But the price tag is what's really holding me back from loving this one. The next secret layer is Memoriam Jaya Bellard. With Jaya passing and her being a character who's been around the lore and story for a very long time, it would be very fitting to give her a proper send-off, right? Now, let's see what cards the secret layer has. We have Jaya Bellard, who is in the original art style from when we seen her originally as Jaya Bellard Task Manager. I love this nice callback. It's it's beautiful. We have Jaya's Emulating Inferno, Pyretic Ritual, Repercussion, and Pyromancer's Goggles. Okay, so where do we start off? I just want to say I love how all the art here tells the story of Jaya going through her life. Now, we even see in the Pyromancer's Goggles, Jaya hating the goggles over to Chandra, which is so cool. It's a nice little flavor touch that I really do love. Now, the Secret Lair does come in both non-foil for $29.99 and foil for $39.99. Now, does the Secret Lair sending a farewell off to this beautiful character, does it have the value? The answer is yes. But however, it all boils down to repercussion carrying the weight of the value here. Repercussion was only printed in Urza's Destiny, let alone it being the second set to ever have foil cards, so you could believe if you want original Repercussion, the foil is going to be a pricey premium. So whether you like Jaya, you want to give her that proper send-off in your deck, or you're wanting to pick up a cheaper Repercussion, it's not bad either way. I personally, I don't like it. I don't like secret layers that lean on one card to prop up the full value of them. Next up, we have Artist Series Nils Hammond. Oh, oh my goodness, I downright love everything about this. I mean, just look at this. I love the art, the flavor text, and how it's from classical stories, and it's like they're from books and just popping out. It's just so beautiful. Mm. Now, what cards does a secret layer have? It contains Deep Glow Skate, Tireless Tracker, Contagion Engine, Sword of Truth and Justice being the last card. So every card in here has something to do with counters. I didn't notice this at first when looking through it originally. Now this secret layer is sold, as before, for non-foil for $29.99 and foil for $39.99. So do these beautiful cards have the value to back it up? Oh yes, <laughs> oh yes they do indeed. Whether you're going for non-foil or foil, the value is there. And it's not just one card propping up the value. 
all the value is split up in the cards, and this is so beautiful. I love seeing this in a secret lair, because it means that whatever you're looking for, it's going to be good. Next up, we have Art of the Series, Victor Amade Mengiza. Oh gosh, I pronounced that name. I am sorry for anybody who's a fan of this artist. I hope I didn't butcher their name. Anyways, this secret lair is quite interesting, with each card having its very own unique theme that's downright stunning. The secret lair contains Knight Exemplar, Knight of the White Orchid, Lord of the Undead, and Compost. Now all these cards are really solid cards for command, and it gets one point for me on that right there. Also, all but one of these cards has been due for a reprint for quite a while, so it's good seeing that. The Secret Lair is sold for non-foil for $29.99 and foil for $39.99. But does it have the value? Well, for the non-foil, it's actually pretty close. But for the foil, if you want to get these original cards in foil, the Secret Lair does indeed have the value for it. I do want to say that I love, love, love the art for Lord of the Undead. It's a very Mad Max vibe, and I really dig that. Next up, this is actually when we had a uh, teaser for a little while ago before they announced the whole secret lair. We have the Imaginary Friends secret lair, and oh my goodness, I love everything about this. From the kid storybook style to the choice of soft colors, and all these being in a very beautiful, boardless thing, it leaves more room for that very adorable cute art. I can't help it, I'm a sucker for pastel colors and soft colors. This secret layer contains Matter Shaper, Toothy Imaginary Friend, Pure Imaginative Rascal, and the Gitrog Monster. Every card in this fits so darn well for this theme, and I love it so hecky much. Ah! This secret layer is sold for $29.99 for non foil and $39.99 for a foil. Now let's go check and see the value on this. Well, the non-foil, the price tag value is pretty close to what it is to buy the secret layer and buy the singles, kind of almost evens out. Now for the foil, there's definitely that value there. My thoughts on this is I absolutely love the secret layer, and I'm definitely going to pick up at least one of these. Last and definitely not least, we're going to combine the last two secret layers together because they both are one side of the same coin. The Dan Fraser is back again, the enemy talisman and allied talisman secret layer. And oh, oh my goodness indeed, the artwork on these are so darn beautiful. And to add to that, the retro frames just makes it stick out so much more. With each of these artworks harking back to the day's original Moxon, it is hard not to love any of these arts here. Each secret layer contains five cards, and the name is exactly what you get either five allied talisman or five enemy talisman. So this comes in two forms, the non-foil for $29.99, and this is where things get different, an etched foil for $39.99. And the value in this? You can easily pick up the singles on this, all of the 10 of them together for cheaper than what it could be to buy the non-foil, but the thing is that that's not the point here on this one. If you're looking at this one, you are most likely getting it because you're a fan of Dan Fraser's artwork, you're a fan of the old mock style, or you want to bling out your commander decks. And because of that, this makes me lean more towards the yay than the nay. Also this time around, the discounts work differently. Normally, when you buy Secret Lair bundles, they have a discount built in. But this time around, it looks like the discount comes from how much you spend. So with any order over $50 will cause you to have a savings of 10%. And if any order over $200 will cause you to get a 20% discount on the order. So this means that no secret layer is propped up by the bundle. So it'd be really interesting to see what the numbers come out then of each secret layer then. And that's going to be it for this video, folks. Are there any secret layers you're going to be getting? If so, please do let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear which one catches your eye and why you want to pick them up. I personally am going to pick up Imaginary Friends and Artist Series Nil Hams. I just love that artwork so much. Mm, so beautiful. And if you like this video, please do leave a like and maybe subscribe to the channel. As always, I'm 16-Bit Fair, and I hope you have a Duke Duke day. This video is made possible thanks to all these awesome people and viewers like you.